Good morning. I didn't realize I was going to be first, but it doesn't bother me at all. I love it. I am first <coughs> going to have to try to do stay within this minute time, but I'm first speaking to you as the president of the Black Catholics United Against Abortion, which was initiated because we were endeavoring to bring more black Catholics into the pro-life movement. We do believe that more than anything else, abortion is racism. It is a way of pruning, if you will, the black population. When you consider the number of black men in jail, on, a, on drugs, and now with AIDS, if you start in the womb where they have been for 10 years, it will be a very good job by the year 2000, the black male will be not only an endangered species, but almost extinct. And so that you will have more black males in this country 50 and over. That is one of the reasons we do believe that abortion was initiated in this country. In 1973, shortly after the civil rights struggle, when there were more benefits for the black people, all of a sudden, we were given this free, free thing from the, uh, from the Society of America, abortion. 78% of your free abortion clinics were placed in black and urban areas for the purpose of something free of charge from a racist society. As uh, to put it in the words of one pro-abortionist, we don't need so many Negroes anymore. There's no more cotton to pick. So with these feelings about black people, this was one way of doing it as a social benefit, if you will. We're here to help you. Black women, and let it be stated, black women never demonstrated, demanded, or even requested the right to an abortion. We've been asking for the right to decent housing, the right to education, in fact, the right to health care. And all we've been given free of charge is the right to kill our unborn child. We are still struggling for equally opportunity. If a woman, a black woman, walks into a hospital and says she is in need of some sort of medical care, she would be turned away unless she has Medicaid or Blue Cross or, Blue care, uh, or Medicare. But if she asks for an abortion, there are no questions. We will be glad to kill the baby in your womb. It is demeaning to the black woman because when you wanted us, in other words, when we were on the plantation, you snatched the newborn baby from my arms and sold it into slavery. Today, you cut it out of the womb and throw it in the garbage or use it for human experimentation. I will now just briefly finish up here, if I will, with my one thing. <coughs> Undoubtedly, the death of black Americans by alcohol, drugs, crime, and suicide is not sufficient for pruning the black American population. Now they are attacked in the womb. Yesterday, as I said, they snatched those babies from our arms and sold them into slavery. Today, you cut them out of the womb and throw them in the garbage. Let it be known that over 80% of black Americans are against abortion on demand. Let it be known that black women never requested, demanded, nor demonstrated for abortion. Yes, some black legislators believe that if white women have it, black women want it. They don't know black women. We still respect God and God's given life. We praise God for Congressman Floyd Flake, the only Democrat from New York in the Congressional Black Caucus who remains true to his God and true to his African heritage. It is our African heritage that we have never killed life given by God. Unlike Jesse Jackson, Congressman Flake stands by his pro-life position that life begins at conception. I briefly also would like to say on behalf, I'm only a member of Irma Clarity Claven, who is the author of Abortion, Poverty, and Genocide, that <clears throat> she says here, anyone who takes a firm stance against abortion pricks the conscience of accusers because it forces them to face up to the basic individual commitment to human life. <coughs> Abortion is murder and genocidal to the entire human race. With, uh, it has corrupted America and that it has also caused the death of many doctors, nurses, and other health personnel 
who have been unable to live with the murders that they have committed. Abortion is inhumane, sadistic, and the cruelest form of child abuse. She says abortion is a male cop-out, which degrades an expected mother. Thank you.